So I look like a ghost right now, but Hey everyone, my name is Sahar and today is going to be a simple spring inspired makeup look. I'm also going to be doing a graduation look. I can see like cat hair on my eyeball because it is March and it's almost April, which is graduation month. Well, at least for me. I mean, when back in my day, <laughs> I feel so old. Before anything else, if you enjoy this, this baby, my cat just jumped on the bed. If you like watching videos like this, please subscribe to my channel, like this video if you did at the end of the video, and comment down below what you'd like to see next. Do not drink my coffee. Do not drink my coffee, baby. Here is my baby biscuit. He is such a naughty person, little devil. Love him. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let's just get into it. I already did my brows and my foundation. And sorry for the cat hair everywhere. I will be using one of my favorite palettes. This is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. And I've always wanted to get the Sweet Peach palette, but I mean, that stuff's expensive. This was on sale, luckily. So I went and got it. I didn't really prime my eyes with anything except concealer. So I'm going in with Peach Meringue just to set the eyes, just to set that concealer in place. So first transition shade will be Peaches and Cream. This is one of my favorite colors. It's a beautiful like um, well, peach color, of course. I'm just going to be concentrating everything at the outer edge of the eyes, just above the crease and maybe even on the crease. And then just building that color up until I get the desired saturation. Next, I'm going in with a slightly darker color, and this is called Just Peachy, which is also one of my favorites, and it's also a great blush color. So I'm concentrating that just below the Peaches and Cream color, just to make it um, have a beautiful like gradient effect before I put in an even darker color. Next, I'm going in with a Fresh Picked, which is slightly more um, brown. It's still got that rich peach, but more of a brown tone. I'm concentrating that color just on the lower half of my lid. Next, I'm going to be placing some Peach Punch, which is a beautiful, beautiful, like, really um, bright the coral. I really like this color. And then just to deepen the outer part of my eye because I want more definition. So I'm taking the color Peach Tart, which is a brown, and just placing that in the outer corner of my eye, concentrating it there, not going anywhere closer to the center. And to blend them both together, I'm taking Just Ripe, which is like a mauve shade. Um, and I really like this shade. I don't use it as much, but I, I do really enjoy this shade. I, I enjoy almost all the shades in this palette. So going in first with Peaches and Cream at the outer, outer edge, just to make my edges a little bit smoother. I don't like any harsh lines. I'm going in with Just Peachy closer to the um, crease. Just blending all those colors together. And then going in with Peach Punch a little bit lower just to bring back that like coral shade that I really, really like. And then we're going to go in with a shimmer. Then using a clean brush, we're going to take in peach butter and just going into that like that area right below the brow just to mute everything down and make everything smooth and flawless. And I know that I did not I'm not grooming my brows regularly, it's just I'm so busy. But you know, that trend is in anyway, you know, the bold brow 
large and in charge. This is a matte peachy palette so you can stop here but I want to go in with one of Colourpop's new launches. Well not really new, I mean they launched it quite some time ago. So this is the Jelly Much Eye, eye Shadow Shadow. Shadow. I'm gonna be putting this all over my lid area but you can totally skip this step you don't need it I just want something different and I haven't really been using these for too long and I really really want to because they're an amazing product and yeah I'm just taking a generous amount on my brush I'm concentrating this right here in the inner half of my eye but again, you can totally skip this step if you don't have or if you don't want anything shimmery. You want to stay with that matte theme. Go right ahead. Spreading that with my finger just to give it a nice like gradient into the matte shadow. So I'm going to be taking a pencil brush dipping into peach sangria which is one of my favorite shades and just deepening this area right here just to give me like an eyeliner effect next i'm gonna go in with my bottom lashes so i always like to work in layers when it comes to my lower lashes as well. I don't like to go in with one color. I just think it gives me a more beautiful effect. So I'll go in first with one shade. This is just peachy. Then I'm going in with something darker called peach sangria which is what we put all over the top part of our eyes. I'm gonna be placing this closer to my lash hairs as possible. Finally, I'm going to go in with Peach Punch just to put in a little bit of color. Hey guys, so I'm back. I just put on a layer of mascara and I recently discovered this um, new line called BTLA. This is from my local drugstore and it is like super affordable and it is super beautiful. Like, it's a liquid highlighter and look at that. I am just shocked. It's like, um, you know those liquid highlighters from Jeffree Star? Those are too expensive. This is not even half the price. This is not even one fourth of the price. It is like super, super, super cheap. And I'm super excited to try this on my face because this does have a pinky tone to it. They have two colors. One is gold, which I will be picking up soon because I really, really like this stuff. I never typically go for liquid highlighters, but this is like super amazing. BTLA liquid highlighters. Oh my gosh. So let me just dot a few dots on my face, on my nose, on my, I think it's called a cupid's bow, and we will see how this will look. I never go with liquid highlighters on the face. I just feel like it's too risky. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Okay, so I recently discovered this BTLA um, brand. It's called the Luminous Highlighter Drops. And so I saw this in the drugstore, in my local drugstore, and I decided to pick it up because it's like super affordable. And they have two shades, one goldish and one pinkish. I will be getting the goldish really soon because I absolutely love this so much. This dries down pretty quickly, so you have to work quickly. Um, and it is just the most beautiful shine, no glitter. And on the face, I was afraid to use it because I was thinking that maybe it's gonna be too intense or it's gonna be moving my um, foundation around. But it's not. It is not. It is just absolutely gorgeous. Wow. And this can be used all over the body. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm so in love. We're gonna go in with some bronzer and I'm just gonna be using my favorite Physicians Formula bronzer, butter bronzer, and a color bronzer. Yeah, let's just warm up my face because I need, I am in a 
big need of warming up. My cat is sleeping right across from me and he's sleeping like this. That's why I love my cat because I don't want to say his name because he might stop sleeping. The story about him, my friend had so many cats and she decides to give one to me um, when she found out that I absolutely adore them. So when they were babies, when they were kids, when they were babies, she let me pick one. But of course they had to nurse with their mom first. So she let me pick one and I saw him sleeping exactly the way he was sleeping. Just right now like that. On his back, just like that. And I said, he's the one. He's the one. So. Blush, blush. Where is my luminoso? I need to pick up the new shades of the Milani um, butter bronzers. No, butter. No, it's not. What? It's baked blushes. Um, ooh, yeah. I'm using the color Luminoso because it does match very well with my eyes. And it's one of my favorite blushes. I have two of them and I already hit 10 on my first one because I use it almost every day. Even at work sometimes I use it. It's got a beautiful sheen. It's a beautiful color. Oh, yes. Milani came out with some new colors. I think there's Petal Primavera, Sunset Passion, and um, there's another one, Rose Romantica. I'm not sure if that's new, but I really, 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 really want to pick it up. They're going to be on sale soon. Yay! I'm with their poor eyesight, and I can't really see from afar. I don't know how they look. I don't know if I'm blurry over there in that viewfinder, so please forgive me. I'm just hoping to God that this is going to turn out good. If I want to use a cream finish, I'm going to use one of my H&M lipsticks which I absolutely love. These are cream finishes and I do have a swatch video. I will be linking it down below for you or maybe putting it up here. I'll be using maybe let's say try peach fuzz because it's with a peach theme. I don't know if this is gonna work. My lips are so dry. I'm gonna be adding some in a nutshell, which is one of my favorites as well. I think this is more mauvey though. Mm. Yeah. I love mixing colors, especially lipsticks. I absolutely love them. Like, I never just wear one lippy. I wear like five. So I am done with the spring look using the Just Peachy Matte Palette and a ColourPop Jelly Much eyeshadow in the color Morning Light. I used the H&M Lippies in the color Peach Fuzz and in a nutshell, then I mixed them both together. I also used some of my favorite Luminoso Blush by Milani. Oh, 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 and a new favorite of mine, which is the BTLA Luminous Highlighter Drops. I don't think you can find this online, I'm not sure, because I did just find this in a drugstore, so I will be updating if there is a online, if there is an online shop for this, I will be linking that down below as well, but you can find it in Watson's, any, or SM, I don't know. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, please like this video if you did, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell to be informed of when I upload. Thank you so much for watching, please comment down below what you'd like to see next, and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!